You are watching Tag TV News and Views with Tahir Gora. Today we are talking about uh, Stat Canada's move in terms of collecting 500,000 Canadians personal information and banking information. I am joined with uh, MP Honorable Lisa Ray, who is also Deputy Leader of Opposition of Canada. Uh, Ms. Lisa Ray, what are your concerns about Stat Canada's uh, this decision or uh, this initiative? I'm really concerned um, mainly because Canadians had no idea that Statistics Canada was writing their bank to ask them for the your information, your personal information on how much money you have in your bank or where you like to spend it or if you have a mortgage or a car loan. All of those things Statistics Canada and the government has asked the banks to provide them directly. And we only learned about it through a reporter finding out from somebody within the system and complaining about it. So, uh, what do you think, uh, what made Stat Canada to go ahead with this kind of a um, breach of conduct, I would say? Mm -hmm. What we understand is that Statistics Canada feels that Canadians are no longer voluntarily giving them the information that they want. And what they like to know is how people are spending their money so that they can provide information. And a lot of Canadians will volunteer to do that. They'll send in forms and they'll fill out surveys. And that's the kind of information that Statistics Canada can compile. But what they're finding is less and less Canadians are willing to part with the information freely. So they decided to go directly to the banks and ask them to provide the information instead of waiting for Canadians to provide to them their own information. And I think that is a breach, as you said. That's a breach of somebody's security and it's a, it's a breach of somebody's privacy. And that's why we're standing up in the House of Commons and asking the government to stop this um, project so that Canadians don't have to worry about their information being taken from them. Do you think that uh, um, Stat Canada uh, got kind of a go-ahead from Liberal government? They would have, yes. Um, the only the only entity that can tell Statistics Canada to not do this is the government. And my understanding from the minister is that they were aware of Statistics Canada wanting to do this, and they support Statistics Canada. They think this is okay. They're very comfortable with Canadians' financial data being taken away from them without their knowledge because they say that they need it. Now, I, I don't think they need it. I think, um, I think the government can find out the information they're looking for in a lot of other ways. And around the world, other governments are doing exactly the same thing. And at the, at the very least, um, this government tends to like to consult on many things. There's consultations on, on electoral reform. There's consultations on resource industries. But they never consulted on what is the most important issue, which is your private financial data. And Statistics Canada actually said they didn't consult because they knew that Canadians would say no, that they didn't want to pass over their data to the Canadian government. So they opted just to take it. And the minister has full knowledge of it, and uh, now he's accountable to Parliament, and we ask Minister Baines very tough questions in the House of Commons, but so far, the answers, they haven't been um, at all satisfactory. So as Conservative Party of Canada is enlightening Canadians about this sort of breach, uh, what would be the response of Canadians, uh, in your opinion, to this kind of uh, action. So what we uh, have learned already is uh, through Facebook and through call-in radio shows and call-in TV shows, Canadians are outraged that their information is being taken from them without their consent and that their private information is somewhere on a computer in Ottawa and they don't know where and they don't know what use it's being put towards. And others have decided to sign the petition which is available online through the House of Commons. And so far, to hear, we've had over 14,000 people sign this petition in a matter of, of 48 hours, which is a significant amount. And they're showing their displeasure to the government as well. Now, the government has said 
that they are now reviewing the project with the privacy commissioner to make sure that that uh, what they're doing is going to be protecting people's data. But our point is they shouldn't be taking it at all. They should not be taking the banking information and they should not be making the banks hand it over to them. And that's what we're going to continue to ask for and we're not going to stop. So Conservative Party is uh, uh, pushing government to stop uh, uh, this breach uh, over the floor as well? That's correct. The, uh, we are absolutely calling on the government to stop Statistics Canada from asking for your personal information, your personal financial information, and stop surveilling Canadians. I mean, when you think about it, the bank is handing over all of your transactions for a day. So if you went to Tim Hortons, that transaction is given to the bank. If, if you gave money to your son or your daughter through the electronic system, that's going to be sent over to the government for them to know that you've done that. And that's a real invasion of a person's privacy. So we're going to continue to make sure that we bring this up in the House and Conservatives say no to this, um, you know, I would say um, completely unnecessary grab of personal financial data. So what else uh, should Canadian do uh, to protest uh, um, Stat Canada's uh, this action? Um, absolutely. Call or write your member of parliament, a, a liberal, conservative, new democratic party, whomever they may be, and tell them that you're not happy with the decision. And you can also sign that petition through the House of Commons. Um, that's at parl.gc.ca. And if you go to the House of Commons, they'll, it'll be able to uh, tell you where to find it. It's actually called Our Commons, C-O-M-M-O-N-S, dot um, gc.ca, and that'll allow you to find this petition on uh, the StatsCan data grab, and you can express your concern that way. But definitely let your your um, member of parliament know and talk to your neighbors and talk to your family about it, because the more people that know about this and, and complain, the better off it will be. Thank you very much, Ms. Lisa Ray, for your time in terms of enlightening our viewers about this very important and complex issues. Thank you very much to hear. If you value your banking information and you think that it's only for you and the bank to know what you have in the bank and what money you owe, then this is something you really need to be careful for and we have to fight against the government on this one together. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it for Thank your you time. Thank you for watching Tech TV News and Views.